none of the elected people really want, or at least they, they, they're, there's no majority among the five parliamentarians to say that any one of those members of the House ought to be uh, the leader of the party. And so they will seek to go outside of those who are elected. To do that, they will have to make changes to the Senate or they will have to use one of the current senators. As I told you, I have been reliably informed that there is a move afoot now to remove Khalid Bilal as a senator and to place Daryl Bradley there. It is factual that of the names that have been called to take on the leadership of the party, which are Daryl Bradley and Michael Perifit, that both of those individuals have failed at the polls before in terms of Bradley he made an unsuccessful bid in Caribbean shores. And I know what people will say, well, the man won in the municipal election. But the truth is that a municipal election is won completely differently from the general elections. And in the case of my colleague and friend, the chairman of the party, he made a bid, I think it was in 2012, in the Freetown constituency, uh, which he he lost very narrowly, and then he made a second attempt to defeat, uh, along with that mighty power, to uh, represent the people of Port Loyola where he wasn't successful. So it is a tremendous gamble for anybody who is listening. You have a party leader who has won five general elections without fail.